Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, Zhao. You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. You're creating a kill switch. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately? <laughs> Oh, yes, Mr. Jensen. You figured out our plans, but not soon enough. Dispose of him, Namir. And this time do it right. You should have stayed dead, Jensen. Right over here.
Jaren, is that you? Not exactly. Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you. You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries, they came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't! And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David? What are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here... Richard! Patch me into Seraph, now! Adam, please! He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. But it does work, Megan. Zhao damn near shut me down. No. No, that can't be true. Have I ever lied to you? I'll reset your software. It'll put things right again. I've insulated your chip to prevent external signals from reaching it. It's something I developed recently using nanotechnology. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sarif here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. Oh god, he's modified the control signal. Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. You never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam! I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. Getting my team out of here. You have to go to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks, but you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes, and it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. Automated systems online. Dara sequence one, point one, one A. Preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination Panchea. Begin countdown, Mr. Darrow. Begin countdown. Code zero zero zero. Confirm zero. Countdown commencing.
Jensen. Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control panel at the top of the tower.
Pritchard. Francia's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override them manually. From up in the tower. I got it. Access granted. I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. 
afraid to die, Darrow. Or just unwilling to face what you've done. Oh, I know what I've done. Believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm ending this. Now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Pancea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. Humanity needs to be punished, is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. History has shown us again and again that the human race is hidebound and governed by inertia. As a society, as a species, the only way to elicit any kind of reaction from it is through an act of tragedy, a horrible cataclysm. I regret what I have been forced to do, but given what I know about mankind and the dangers facing us, this was the only viable choice. Convince yourself you're right, but whatever moral high ground you're standing on is nothing but a stack of innocent victims. You're trying to justify genocide. All your talk about ethics and ideals doesn't mean a damn compared to that. Is that the best argument you can produce? Ethics and morality are as fluid and changeable as any human conceit. I'm disappointed to see you are so naive. Quite frankly, I don't even know why I'm listening to you. There's nothing you can say I haven't said to myself at one point or another. The difference, Mr. Jensen, is that I know people like you need this wake-up call. You will never freely give up your augments. Your desire for their power blinds you to the danger you put humanity in. People like me? You mean, not like you? You changed the world when you invented this technology, but your creation is leaving you behind. And as long as it's allowed to continue, mankind will use it to evolve without you. Until the father of tomorrow is known as yesterday's man. 
I never asked for that title, Mr. Jensen, but I will not be ashamed of it now. You think, you think you have the measure of me, don't you? That I'm some common criminal you can bully into submission. Go on then, beat the codes out of me. Lash out and prove me right about you and what augmentations have done to you. You can't have the future so no one can, is that it? Open your eyes, Darrow. Look at what your obsession is doing to the world. When all of this is over, nothing will be left but anarchy and fear smoldering in the ashes of burning cities. How can anything be rebuilt from that? No, that's not... that's not what I wanted. There must be something left, some hope of renewal. Because without hope, there is nothing. I... I will give you what you want, Mr. Jensen. Codes to shut down Panchea's security system. But you'll still be in danger. Much of the system is self-determining and lethal. When you see it, maybe then you'll understand. The technology I created will not be the future any one of us desires. Please, help the world understand that. Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. Fuck you! Fuck you! I hate you, monster! Get together. It's happening! 
Show yourself! Don't be difficult!
This is William Taggart. If anyone out there is listening, I'm begging you, help. We've barricaded ourselves inside the core server room. Many of us are wounded. Please, save us. Please, save us. You shouldn't be here!
What the hell? Zhao, what are you doing? Connecting to Panchea's Hiron project, Mr. Jensen. The most advanced quantum computer slave to the human brain, and the closest to perfection we'll ever achieve. I'm going to use it to hack Daryl's signal and rework the message to our benefit. Our benefit? You mean the Illuminati's? Someone has to override the signal and be the world's savior. And let's be honest, neither of us would trust anyone else to fill that role. Computer, begin EEG sync. So much pain. Sinking beta waves at 40 cycles per second. Get them out of there! I have to reach the control chamber! No! I can feel control! I can control! Stop the signal! Security alert. Through the primary control cast. Oh shit. Override of tertiary 
Tertiary pods initiated. Total system hunt in effect. Shutting down Tertiary station. Warning. Electrical charge subcritical and rising. <laughs> security in place. To access Alpha Pod... I must start this! I must succeed! I can't move! I can't move! ACHD levels are critically low. Warning. Primary 
Adam. Welcome to the Edge. It is not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. Eliza? What are you doing here? It is my job to monitor and report on the news, Adam. Before Darrow smothered everything with his signal, the whole world was tuned into this place, including me. The broadcast. I have to stop it. I know. Please, come closer. Do you know where we are, Adam? We are at the fulcrum point, when society lies in the balance. Hugh Darrow hoped to tip the scales one way, by telling the world everything you already know. About the biochip, the Illuminati, everything. He believed knowing the truth would convince mankind to abandon research into human enhancement technologies forever. It would certainly give them reason to fear it. Indeed. Daryl's confession is ready to send. If you want, I can wideband it across all media as soon as you shut down the signal. Everything you worked so hard to uncover will be exposed. But only if you deactivate the broadcast using this control. Of course, there is another option. This passage leads to Panchea's pressure regulation controls. Destroy them and the installation will cave in on itself, overwhelmed by the weight of the ocean pressing against it. Everyone inside the structure will die. That's a solution? No one will be left to tell the world what happened, Adam. Nobody will be able to spin the story. Including me. The choice is yours. Do you believe you have the wisdom to choose an appropriate future for mankind? Or do you trust mankind to find the answers on its own? If you do this, the unadulterated truth in Darrow's confession may well convince mankind to cast all science and technology aside, to ensure that future generations grow up free and whole. Are you sure this is your choice? So be it then. Albert Einstein said, technological progress is like an ax in the hands of a pathological criminal. Took me a while, but I finally see his point. How often have we chased the dream of progress only to see it perverted? More often than not, haven't the machines we built to improve life shattered the lives of millions? And now we want to turn that dream on ourselves to fundamentally improve who we are. Experience has shown me how dangerous that can be. How many times in the call of duty did I almost fall into the trap of taking shortcuts, abusing my abilities or the resources at hand? I resisted, barely at times, because I valued human lives and considerations. Can I truly despise others who fall? Technology offers us strength. Strength enables dominance, and dominance paves the way for abuse. Darrow understood this. He knew that using technology to become something more than we are risks losing our ability to love, aspire, or make moral choices. The very things that make us human. It also risks giving some men the power to make others what they choose, regardless of the cost to human dignity. The suffering Darrow inflicted is not the end of the world. It is merely the seed for change. And change never comes without pain.